Hello, so we are looking at a vessel. This is a vessel. So I've got it defined here, and then we're going to hear what the Lord says about being the vessel. Are you ready? Here we go. Vessel. One that holds other things. Example, barrels, cups, dishes, etc. Scriptural phraseology. A person unto whom anything is conceived or is poured or infused. A chosen vessel. The wicker vessel is defined as, you know, a woman has been defined as, in the scripture as the weaker vessel. Vessel. So here's what the Lord says. Be still and know that he is God. Ye have ears here what the Spirit says to the churches. You are a beautiful child of the Most High God, and it is not my will that you be defeated by your own inabilities. I say... Ask, and it will be given unto you. For in your weakness, I am strong. I build you up in the storm of persecution. The wicked will perish, but the obedient shall remain. I save the holy child of the Most High. They cannot touch you, my child. They deceived, but were deceived and will be rewarded for their wickedness against humanity. I am that I am, believe. He is that he is. So I just want to say one thing. This is what he's placed strongly on my heart. That as these fakers, these imposters, the synagogue of Satan, build their new world order and their one world religion, friend, you are separated the word says, separate yourself. You're separated from Babylon. You're not part of it. You're his. And as the child of the Most High God, you are being separated. So trust the Lord. Be willing to be a vessel of his Holy Spirit, that you could shine his light before men. Because in the day of darkness, you will be his light in the wilderness. Be still and know that he is God. Shalom.